everyone good evening welcome to your very own favorite channel how are you all yes hi pooja hi kamna yes hi tanishka sanskriti musfira yes advika raj s nagendra yes anmol yes diya all right all right i can see that a lot many people are joining in yes hi good evening chandani tanishka pragati prabodha yes everyone so you all know what today we are going to discuss here today we will be talking about this chapter congruence of triangles yes very important chapter i tell you this is one topic that you are going to see in your higher grades also in grade 7th uh, in grade 7th 8th 9th 10th you are going to come across these topics and also these the basics the fundamentals that we are we are talking about i mean whatever you are going to learn today this is just fundamentals right so this is going to form your base this is going to strengthen your foundation when you go for competitive exams also in some of the competitive exams these are the topics that are a part of it easiest chapter harsh you must be geometry lover how many of you like geometry first tell me yeah geometry algebra what it is what do you like hi devana yes i do remember good evening rakesh oh you noticed yes triangular sandwiches here right lot many people are saying yes ayushi s nagendra you like geometry anmol algebra lover tanishka yes kv girl musfira geometry is favorite wow so many people are saying that they like geometry as well as al algebra okay algebra more than geometry yes i would also say that when i was in school i also used to like algebra more than geometry now all are same for me <laughs> right algebra lover great so we are going to really enjoy this session because a very interesting topic and very important also as i said but before i start there is an important update it's regarding anthe that is akash national talent hunt exam so this is for classes 7th to 12th let me tell you if you give this exam if you want to be a doctor or an engineer you want to go for neat exam je exam so you're at the right place so here we will help you we will guide you if you go for this exam you will be able to know your potential at the all india level yes and you can get up to 100% scholarship cash rewards and four mock anthe test would be there mock test you know that they're really important because we need to evaluate sir ourselves evaluation is very important then only you'll be able to identify your strength and weakness yes army no anmol this question students have asked me a lot many times but i don't really get time to see this actually one day i'll surely do that and you can also win an all expense paid trip to nasa so this exam is conducted once a year that is in november in both the modes offline as well as online online classes are conducted i mean exam is from 5th to 13th november and offline is from 6th to 13th november please register for it registration is absolutely free it's not costing you anything the link is there in the description oh wow dia that's amazing yeah yes arshi yes arshi riya people who are new here please do go register for it registration is free it's not costing anything and very soon we will come up with a detailed syllabus on anthe as well we will come up with a session yes good evening adhiraj yes riya people who are new here quickly subscribe the channel see you know that we have started with a new series mission midterms our today's session is also a part of it because we have started with, with this series because we want you to ace in your examination so that you score 100% so what is our plan in these 45 days see this is the plan that you can see here chapter revision would be done and notes would be shared in the pdf format notes over here the session that i'm doing here today it's pdf would be shared over the telegram channel the link for the telegram channel it's there in the description please do join it all the very best riya and exam focused questions would be discussed doubt solving sessions strategy sessions one shot marathons and quizzes would be there so many things it's a complete package that you are getting here what else you want but for this to get all this what do we need we need to subscribe the channel right yes everyone people who are new here subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you keep getting notifications about the upcoming sessions so are we all ready with our notebooks and pens shall we start with the session yes come now all right riya did that harsh 
Yes, thank you so much. 30 on 30. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, be ready with your notebooks and pens. Pramukta, Mona, Diya, Crafty, Srishti, Harsh, Pragati, everyone, Chandani. Wow, that's great, Diya. All right, all right. So, yes, everyone. Are we all ready? Shall we start with the session now? Yes, Kamna, Apsara, Tanishka, Somme, everyone. Great, let's get started. Yes, Defena, it's a good number, but still there is a scope for improvement, right? And I'm sure that you can do that. So whatever, wherever you have went wrong, whatever the mistakes are, to see that and try out those, those type of questions again. Practice it. I'm sure that you would be able to score full next time. Correct. Let's get started. So the session is about the congruence of triangles, right? So what is congruence? Let's first understand that. Look at these pictures over here, right? You can see that. All of these card, coin and everything, these are overlapping, completely coinciding, completely overlapping with each other. How is it possible? This is only possible because the two objects are completely identical to each other. Completely identical, they are overlapping. That's why we can call them congruent. Yes? Yes. Congruent means they are exactly same, exactly equal. Priya, first of all, stop thinking that. Do not let negative things affect your mind. Right? Keep coming for the classes. You will see an improvement gradually. All right. I hope this is clear. Yes, correct, Esnagendra. Right. So here we can see that these are completely identical. These are overlapping with each other. So we can say that they are congruent. Now let's talk about the congruence of plane figures and line segments. Right. So here you can see that we have got these plus signs over here. Right. These planes figure F1 and F2. Now let's see if they are congruent to each other. Yes. So here you can see that, look at this animation, F2 superimposes on F1, right? It is overlapping F1, so we can see that these two figures cover each other completely, so they are congruent. I can say that F1 is congruent to F2, right? Right, Kamna, yes? Musfirar, clear? Riya, Tanishka, everyone, no doubt still here? All right, all right. Let's see that. Now we'll talk about line segments. Look at this line segment AB and CD. Now let's see if they are congruent or not. So what we will do is we will see, we will place this CD over AB. And what do we see here? We can see that it is completely overlapping. It is completely coinciding with it. It is only possible if the two line segments are of equal length. That means they are congruent. So we can say that AB is congruent to CD. Yes, Rhea, please ask whatever doubts you have. They are overlapping. They are coinciding. They are identical to each other. Yes. Now is this clear? Yes, Defina. Symbol of congruence. First you put this equal to sign and then you put this sign like this. This is the congruence sign. I hope this is clear. Right, Adhiraj? Yes, there is a sign for congruent. It is this one. I hope it is clear. This is visible now to everyone. My story. When I started loving math. I will share this story someday. But today, let's study. Let's focus on the session. One day when we have a fun session, then we will discuss that. Yes. Thank you, Kamna. This is clear. Yes, Ria. Any doubts? No means no doubt or you have a doubt. One more time. Okay. So what we are showing here is that. Let's see it one more time. What I'm showing here is that you can see first these two plane figures. You can see that they are completely overlapping. Look at this animation. That means it is superimposing it. That means they are congruent. Now if I check this AB and CD, these two line segments, let's place the CD over AB. What do we see here? It completely coincides with it. That means it is of equal length. Right? So they are congruent. I hope this is clear. Yes, Sanskriti Suman. That's right. That's the congruency symbol. No doubts? Two angles of the same measure? Yes, Srishti. Absolutely. All right, let's move ahead to the next one. Now we will talk about the congruence of angles. Like you can see here, we have got these three angles, angle ABC, angle PQR, angle XYZ. ABC and, and angle PQR, you can see that both of them are equals to 40 degree. Same angle measure. That means I can say that measure of angle ABC is equals to measure of angle PQR. Right? Okay. 
So these two angles are going to be congruent. You can see this congruent symbol over here. If the measure of two angles is same, they are congruent. Somebody just asked this question. Yes, Rishti, you asked it. So X, Y, Z, this is different. This can't be congruent to them. Right? A, B, C and P, Q, R. Correct. S Nagendra, we cannot say S, A, S. We do not know if the side lengths are equal, but we just know about the angles. That yes, angles are congruent. Yes, Advika, S Nagendra, we will not, we are not talking about the uh, congruence criteria right now. Arshi, it's working fine for others. Please refresh the screen once. Yes. No doubt still here. Thumbs up, smileys. Yes, this is clear. Riya says okay. Kamna, no doubts. Great, Arshi. Riya, Harsh. Harsh, so what we are doing here is these two angles are equal. When two angles are equal, we can say that those angles are congruent. That's it. Nothing else I have exp explained on this slide. Sanskriti, Suman, S. Nagendra. I can see lots of thumbs up smileys here. Yes, Chandani, Riddhi, Tanishka, Soumya. Everyone. Harsh, okay. Kamna, let's move ahead to the next one. Now we will talk about the congruence of triangles. Here you can see two triangles. Triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Let's see if they are congruent or not. How will we check this out? How are we going to check this if they are congruent or not? Yes, Harsh, that's why I am saying. I was not discussing that on that particular slide. How can we say that these triangles are congruent or not by measuring? But how will we measure that, Musafira? How will we measure it? Uh, check by angle length. If they overlap, right, Kamna. Let's see if they overlap with each other, right, Riddhi. Yes, we can see that they were completely overlapping. They were completely overlapping. It is only possible because these two triangles have the same shape. They have the same size. Then only they can overlap. Make sense? If I give you two triangles in your hand, if you see they can overlap, it is only possible if the size and the shape is exactly same. So I can say these two triangles are congruent to each other. If the triangles are congruent, that means all of their angles, their corresponding angles would be equal. Their corresponding sides will also be equal. Right? Not by ruler, by scale, we cannot check for each and every length. That's the right way to measure it. So look at the corresponding vertices. Angle A, I mean A and P, these are the corresponding vertices. B and Q, corresponding vertices. C and R, correct? Now look at the corresponding line segments. So here AB and PQ, it was overlapping with it, right? Look at this, BC and QR, they were also overlapping. AC and PR, they were also overlapping. Now look at the corresponding angles. So here this angle completely overlapped with this one. This angle completely overlapped with this one and this angle completely overlapped with this one. What do we learn from here? Like what is the takeaway? See, we learn from here is that if the triangles are congruent, then their corresponding angles will be equal, their corresponding sides will be equal. Please note down this thing somewhere. If triangles are congruent, their corresponding angles and their corresponding sides are going to be equal. This is a very... Uh, this is a very important conclusion that we will be using in a lot of questions. Yes, object having same shape and size. Congruent object, exactly Srishti, yes. Esnagendra, simple, easy, harsh. Yes. Muspera, interesting chapter, right? Kamna, clear. Any doubts still here? Yes, Adhika noted this, great. Harsh, clear. All right, Ria. Easy. All right, all right. Great, great, great. Let's move ahead. Let's move ahead. Now we will talk about the criteria for congruence of triangles that you were talking about. When I talk about criteria, the first criteria is SSS. Here each S stands for side. That means side, side, side. Let's suppose if I'm talking about two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle XYZ. This is 10 centimeter, 8 centimeter, 6 centimeter. Look at the measurement of the sides here. 10, 8 and 6 centimeters. Yes, criteria are the rules basically. So if, what does this SSS congruence criteria means? If under a given correspondence, the three sides of one triangle are equal to the corresponding three sides of the another triangle, then we say triangles are congruent. Like here, this AB, this is equal to XY, this BC, this is equal to YZ. I'm putting two strokes. This represent this side is equal to this. And this AC is equals to XZ. So corresponding sides of the triangles are equal, we say SSS criteria, right? That's the rule. That's the congruency rule. Correct. Thank you, Asta. 
No. Triangle, okay, Harsh is asking, does the triangle have to get all the criteria to be congruent? No. It has to get only one criteria. One criteria should satisfy it so that we can say it is congruent. Right? When all the three sides of one triangle are equal to the three sides of the another one, we say it is congruent by side, side, side rule. Clear. All right. Let's move ahead to the next rule. That is SAS. As the name suggests, side, angle, side. So basically, you can see these two triangles. 11 centimeter, 11 centimeter. Look at their corresponding sides. 8 centimeter, 8 centimeter. And they have an angle in between them. The angle is included in between the sides. That is 55 degrees. So SAS means angle is included in between the sides. Right? It has to be in between the sides. Then we can say that the two triangles would be congruent. Yes. Aditi, it's basically the rule. Congruence rule. Yes, you can call it this way as well. So if the angle included between them of a triangle are equal to two corresponding sides and the angle included between them of another triangle, then triangles are congruent. You have to keep just one thing in mind that in two triangles, their two sides, two corresponding sides have to be equal and the angle included between them has to be equal. Then you can say that triangles are congruent using SAS congruency rule. Any doubts? Yes, side angle side, angle has to be included in between the sides. Okay, I tell you one more thing here. Students make a mistake. What they do is, let's suppose, instead of this angle, angle was here. Angle was here, 55 degree. Can you still say that triangles are congruent using SAS rule? Can we still say that? Instead of angle here, we have it here. Both are 55. Can we still say that triangles would be congruent with the same criteria SAS? Harsh says no. Mona, no. Kamna, no. Pramukda says yes, Advika, Esna, Gendra, everybody is saying, Harsha is saying big no. Correct, it has to be no. Why? Because the angle, as I said, it has to be included in between the sides. Then only you can call it SAS. It cannot be, it can't be just anywhere on the triangle. It has to be in between the sides. I hope we have this concept clarity. Trust me, this is one mistake that students make it even, even I've seen 10th graders also making these kind of mistakes. Right, so I hope we have this concept clarity. We have this understanding now that it has to be in between them. Okay, clear, great. Let's move ahead now to the next criteria that is ASA. That means angle side angle. As the name suggests, two corresponding angles of the two triangles. Yes, and the side has to be included between them. Yes, so if, if under a con correspondence, two angles and the included side of a triangle are equal to two corresponding angles and the included side of another triangles, then we say that triangle has is congruent. In this case, between the two angles, the side would be included. That's what we need to see. Side has to be included in between them. Then we call it ASA. Yes. Uh, Raj, I'll come to that point. That's angle side angle. Yes, Pragati. Between the two angles, the side will be included between the two angles, right? And it will be equal to the corresponding angles and side of the another triangle. Between two angles, side has to be there. Correct? In between them. I hope this is clear. Let's move ahead to the next criteria that is RHS. Again, RHS, as the name suggests, there has to be a right angle. Right? R stands for right angle. H stands for hypotenuse right hypotenuse has to be equal and there would be one side one side yes name itself tells this so here we can say the hypotenuse and one side of a right angle triangle triangle has to be right angled right are respectively equal to the hypotenuse and one side of another right angle triangle then you can say triangles are congruent so both the triangles have to be a right angle triangles 90 degree angle would be there obviously then only this criteria is applicable also, hypotenuse should be equal and one side has to be equal of both the triangles, corresponding side. Not right hand side, Pramukta, this is not the full form. This is right angle, hypotenuse, side. Yes, Priya. This is, okay. So, this is simple. When I am talking about RHS, 90 degree angle has to be there. It has to be right angle triangle. Hypotenuse has to be equal and one side has to be equal. That's it. It's very simple. Right, Priya, I hope this is clear. So we talked about four rules. First one is all the three sides for both the triangles. The corresponding one has to be equal. Second one is SAS. That means the angle has to be included in between the sides. Corresponding sides and corresponding angle has to be 
equal. Yes, Pragati. I'm explaining in Hindi also for the ones who want me to. SSS meaning three sides, two triangles. Ke. Tino ke tino sides, corresponding sides equal honge. SAS me do sides ke beach me angle included hona chahiye. Do corresponding sides same honge or angle jo inke beach me included hai wo bhi same honga. Angle side angle me do angles ke beach me side honge. Or do no triangles ke corresponding angles or sides lene aapko. Yes, Pramukda, hypotenuse is basically the length of the side which is opposite to the 90 degree angle. It is always the longest side of the triangle. Yes, the slanting one, we call it hypotenuse. It's only there in the uh, in the right angle triangles. Pragati, clear Abhi, right? Yes, Priya, everyone, no doubts? Crystal clear. Okay, now if I tr we try to solve some questions using these criterias, you will be able to understand, you will be able to identify. Yes, definitely I'll explain in English only. I was just explaining it for the ones who could not understand it. Yes, great, great, great. All right, so till now we talked about what congruence is. Yes, we talked about the difference congruence criterias. Defina, ASA, between two angles, the side will be included. Look at this one. Between two angles, you can see. These are the two angles. This is equal to this. This is equal to this angle. The side is included. It has to be in between them. Congruence means exactly same, exactly equal. Same shape, same size. Yes, Channath? So that they overlap with each other. They coincide with each other. Yes, Musfira. SAS, the previous one. This one. So here between two sides, this is 11, this is 11, this is 8, this is 8. The angle is included. This has to be there. Right? Who is asking? Yes, Riddhi says RHS. RHS is simple. R stands for right angle. Right angle has to be there. The triangles have to be right angle triangles. Hypotenuse has to be there. It has to be equal. And one side of both the triangles has to be equal. Then we say it's RHS. Bhavan Shu. Yes, I hope it's clear to everyone. Alright, I've explained all the rules again. Now let's move ahead. Meet Alisha. She visited... Egypt on our summer holidays. Now, during our trip, she saw so many questions related to the congruency of triangles. Now, let's find out how we can help her solve this. So, Alicia visited the pyramids. Are these pyramids congruent? Yes. Can we say these pyramids are congruent? Yes, no. What is the answer? Maybe. Can we say the pyramids are congruent here? Harsh says no. K Musfira says no. S. Nagendra, no. These are not congruent. Why? Because if you talk about any of the congruence criteria, let's try this. SSS. If you look at their sides, right, their side lengths are different. Definitely this criteria can't, is not applicable. If I talk about RHS, no 90 degree angle is there. This is not applicable, right. If you talk about the, if you talk about this side angle side, right, angles can be equal but since sides are not equal, definitely this criteria can't be applied. And if you talk about ASA, same thing, right. So, this criteria also cannot be applied. Yes, Priya, congruent means they have exactly same shape, same size also. So, that they overlap. Can these pyramids overlap? No, right? No criteria can be used. Yes. You can see that pyramids always form an acute angle. They cannot form a right angle. So, RHS rule can also not be applied. And angles we are not sure of. Angles may be equal. But since sides are not equal, so these two criteria also cannot go with it. Prompt Insan, yes, you are here. Great, wow. You are here with the answer to the homework question. That's nice. Pyramid 1 and 2, if you look them, look at them carefully, they are not same. Yes, no Pramukta, they are not. In RHS Chandani, as the name suggests, right angle has to be there, hypotenuse has to be equal and one side has to be equal. Three things you have to look for. I hope all the doubts, any questions, this is clear. Come on, thumbs up, smileys in the chat. Shall I move ahead? Yes. All right, all right. Now I can see thumbs ups here, smileys, yes. Yes, clear. Great, great, wonderful. Let's move ahead now. So, answer, try, try answering this. After reaching the market, Alicia found some objects. So, which of the following are not congruent? You tell me 
which of the following in the first picture you can see clams, amulets, crawls, which of the following are not correct? Quickly, I want answers from you. Yes, Arshi, yes, Nagendra. Yes. What about butterflies? Lamb, second one, correct. Second one is not, not congruent. So that would be our answer. You all are able to see that, right? This will overlap, this will coincide, this will also superimpose. Thank you, Prompt Insan. All right, let's move ahead to the next question. If a line segment of length 7 cm is congruent to AB, then the length of AB is? What do you think? Chandani, question was, which is not congruent. So, lamps were not congruent. That means lamps was the answer. Yes, everybody is saying, if it is congruent, that means AB will also be of 7 cm. So, option B is the right answer. We all have understood the meaning of this term congruent now. Equal length, equal size, same shape, right? Let's move to the next one. Consider the following set squares and find out which one of them are congruent. Set square 1, 2, 3, which is congruent? Now, whatever we have learned in the previous slides, try using that and tell me which one of these are congruent and which criteria also. That also I want to understand. Priya, which criteria is congruent? Which figures is congruent? Hai? Three figures we can see here. You don't understand the previous one. Question was, a line segment of length 7 cm. A line segment ka length 7 cm. Hai. It is congruent to AB. AB bhi ek line segment hai, it is congruent. Hai. Congruent matlab ye overlap karenge. To AB ki length kya hogi? That would be 7 cm. Okay, I can see answers here. Everybody, the lip say is 1, 3. Chandani, 1, 2. Rule is essay as you are saying and 1 and 3 are going to be okay. Yes, if you see set square 1, this is 10 cm. Set square 3, this is, if you... If you change the orientation slightly, and this is 15, this is also 15, this is 60, this is 60. Correct? Yes, everyone? Yes. And this is what? This is going to be 90. We can see that. This is 90. This is 90, this is 60, this is going to be 30 using the angle sum property. Right? So, we can say triangles are congruent using SAS criteria. Correct? Clear to everyone. Great. Let's move ahead to the next one. Which of the following congruence does not exist? Please read the question carefully. Does not exist. Which rule exists? Nahi karta hai. Kamna, refresh the screen. It's working fine for others. Good win. Yes. Everyone, quickly. Yes, Jevinder, I think you are new here. You just joined. Priya, yes, you are saying A, A, A. Correct. A, 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 there is no such congruence rule. I tell you the reason. Let's suppose if three angles of two triangles are same. It is possible. Three, all the three angles can be equal, but maybe the side lengths are not equal, right? In that case, maybe one triangle may be like this, another one may be like this. So, we cannot call them congruent. They are not of the same shape, right? They will not overlap. Hence, A, A, A is not possible. Correct. C. Let's move to the next one. Which information is needed to make ABC congruent to PQR? If you want to make this triangle ABC congruent to PQR, what information do we need? Yes. It's okay, Javinder. Yes, everyone. I'm just going to give you a hint. Change the orientation of this ABC. You will be able to understand. Raj is saying it's going to be C. Harsh says D, Apsara D, Mona, Adhiraj, Arshi, Dilip. Why is it D? Okay, let's change the orientation here. Let's change the orientation. So, what I'll get here? A would be here. B would be here. C would be here. A would be 75. You just have to turn it. Yes? And this is 35. So, these two angles, I can see it is equal. This is equal. And to make it congruent, we know that SSS can't be applied here. RHS can't be applied here. Two angles are already there. Definitely, it's ASA. For this rule to be applicable here, side has to be included in between them. That means AB and PQ has to be equal. Yes, that means option D, that's the right answer. I think Raj, you said it's going to be C. I hope it's clear now. Why C is not possible? We have to change the orientation first. Slightly, you have to turn it. Priya, SSS means Tino sides of one triangle uh, uske corresponding sides dusra triangle ke equal honge. Kamna not clear? Yes? Okay. Let's take a look. PQR we will keep as it is. 
let's change. Let's just turn ABC like this. Let's turn it. A will be here, B will be here, C will be here. A is what? 75 degrees, B is 35 degrees. Now you see this thing, this A and P, they are equal, right? This B and Q, they are equal. But to make them congruent, now I need one side in between. Only then they can be congruent, right? So that's going to be A, B and P, Q. Screen is not clear. Yeah, come now, refresh it again. It should be working fine. Yes, let's move ahead to the next question. Now it's matched the following. On one side, you can see different types of triangles. On the other side, you can see criteria for congruency. You have to match them with the correct one. I hope screen is clear now. Yes, everyone. Yes, you're right. You can change the quality. You can increase the quality. Right, increase the resolution. Yes, please. Is it working fine now? All right. So first one you can see, you can see these strokes over here. This represent this side is equal to this. Double stroke means this side is equal to this. And this angle, single stroke means this angle is equal to this. Which criteria is this for the first one? Yes, SAS. Let's match it with this one. What about the next one? Easy to guess. You can see a 90 degree angle here, right? You can see the side which is opposite to it. That's hypotenuse. So definitely it is. Yes, the left, right? It is RHS. Yes, come now. That's going to be RHS. Look at the third one. Here you can see one single stroke. This is equal, right? You can see the single angle mark. This is equal. Double angle mark. This is equal. Between two angles, one side. ASA. Correct. Last one. Last one is what? This is equal to this. This is equal to this and this is equal to this. What is this? SSS. Correct. Clear everyone? No doubts? Wow, amazing. So we all have understood all the congruence criteria really well, I can say. Right? Come on, give me, give me thumbs ups in the chat if you have understood all the congruence criteria very well. You have no confusions in this. You will be able to answer any kind of question you come across on these congruence criteria now. Yes? Musfira, Tanishka, Esna, Gendra. Yes, I can see loads of thumbs ups in the chat. Great, awesome. Well, this was the, that's it from my end. Now, let's do a quick recap of what we have learned in the session. So, first we talked about congruence of figures and lines. And then we talked about congruence of angles and triangles. After that, we saw different criteria like SSS criteria. Then we talked about the SAS criteria. And then we saw Yes, ASA criteria and then we talked about RHS criteria. So we have discussed, I mean we have covered all the criteria. We have understood the meaning of this term congruence really well. This chapter is mastered. Wow, Esna Gendra. Only butterflies. Adhiraj, RHS is simple. Like let's suppose I've got these two triangles, right? It's important that they should have 90 degree angle that stands for our right angle triangle. It's important they should have the hypotenuse, right? This is the hypotenuse is basically the side which is opposite to the 90 degree they, that has to be equal and one side has to be equal. That is RHS. Now it's your favorite chapter. Yes, Ms. Afira? Wow. Adhiraj, I've explained it again. Plain bhagya. Yes, plain bhagya uske baad, right? Ready for any type of questions for this chapter? Great, great. Awesome. So we are done with it. I think this goes without saying that we got you covered. So many sessions we have planned for you from every Monday to Friday to make you exam ready. And the telegram, we have a dedicated telegram community for 6 to 8 graders. Link is there in the description. Please join it. The session that I've done here today, it's PDF would be shared in, over the telegram channel. Yes, it's key PDF telegram channel. Pe milegi. Please register for it. And every 3 p.m. on Friday, you can ask any questions from your teachers. They will be coming live and homework poll quizzes are going to be there. Participate and win special mentions and goodies from Bytus. So, wow, one more chance to win goodies. Isn't it exciting? And again, since your midterms are closed, we are again coming up with Bytus mini learning program. Again, it is free, but this time it is free only for the first thousand users every week. So you can be one of them, right? Let's take the advantage of it. So it's absolutely free. You just have to use the code YT first. Three sessions, absolutely free of cost. You can choose the class timings as per your convenience and for whatever subjects you want to take the class for. Link is there in the description. Please do go check that out if you haven't yet. Yes, people who are new here, please check it out. 
राइट तनिष्का यस प्रिया एस एज एंगल साइड एंगल दो एंगल्स के बीच में साइड इंक्लूडेड होना चाहिए यस पी डी एफ अर्शी दीपल हुर आस्किंग फॉर पी डी एफ इट विल बी शेयर ओवर द टेलीग्राम चैनल लिंक इज एर इन दिस्क्रिप्शन प्लीज ज्वाइन इट and do like the video share it with your friends in your school groups also and whomsoever you feel that it can be helpful for them and do subscribe the channel new students priya yes aditi lifestyle people who are new here kamna please subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon no homework you want homework seriously ye to pehli baar ho raha hai that students are asking for homework all right all right thank you so much bye bye